Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. And as you can clearly see on the screen, we're almost at Mars. So this is the little series where we're going from Earth to Mars, my take two. In the previous video, we were attempting to do the atmospheric braking maneuver at Mars using the more aggressive method, and it didn't work out. But again, my little explanation is that the crew on board the XR2 is just currently carrying out simulations. They're trying to find out uh, exactly what the right maneuver is so that they can do this successfully. So in the previous video, the simulation they carried out failed. So we're going to try again in this one. So let me switch to the full orbiter screen. Let's unpause. And yeah, I I'm going to say uh, that PEA was a bit on the low side. So let's, um, let's translate outward a little bit to raise that PEA. And that seemed to me like it might have been significantly low, so let's go out to 33 this time. And we're going to try that maneuver again. Actually, let's go 35. Let's go 35. But I think the real problem, less than what the PEA was, that um, I just didn't have my vertical speed under control. So, all that said, let's... Uh, warp time forward to get closer to Mars. Altitude is currently, you know, 1.5. All right, we're getting pretty close now. So let's go to screen number two on the top. Switch over to AOA. We knew we know we, our bank has to be negative 180 to do this particular maneuver. And as we also found out in the last simulation that we carried out, we do want to have a positive pitch. And we'll we'll start with we'll start with a pitch of uh, actually we'll start with a pitch of five when we initially engage. And that way we should have uh, control. We should have we should be able to control our vertical speed a little bit better. Rotation. So let's go ahead and rotate upside down relative to the planet. and a bit more on the rotation there and rotate so that we're facing the velocity vector switch over to surface all right so we'll get in a bit closer and then we'll turn on the apu stow the radiator and turn on our various controls so let's work time forward to get closer to that point i think we can get down to 90 kilometers before we really have to worry about stowing things away, but we are moving quickly, so we can't go too, too low. Normally, entry interface is 120. It's probably about the same on Mars, but, um, you know, since the atmosphere is thinner, we can probably go a bit lower before we... And the, and the radiator stows pretty fast. We'll go 100. All right, we're going to go about right here. We'll power up the APU. Turn on the radiator, turn on uh, surface controls. We'll leave this set for rotation. And okay, and what uh, our first goal is going to be is to get our vertical speed under control. And then we're going to engage the attitude hold autopilot to try to carry out this uh, aggressive braking maneuver. <clears throat> All right, but for now, we just need to let time pass until we get further down into the atmosphere. Um, could probably do a little bit of time warp. Eh, let's give it a shot. Because there isn't much happening up here. And it's a little bit further down. Okay, now I'm going to start pitching out just a little bit try to zero out that vertical speed. Actually, I can probably pitch out quite a bit. What is our PA currently showing? So currently it's showing 30, so it's gone down actually quite a bit. Um, I'm sure that was due to the vessel orientation. Okay, and we don't want to climb back out though. So we want to keep an eye on that as well. And I'm going to say now we'll engage. And, 
and I want to just slam the atmosphere hard, exposing as much of the vessel as possible. So hmm, I feel like I messed this up again. Ah, man, messed it up again. Maybe. Yeah, I don't. This isn't gonna work. I think I need a much more aggressive AOA for an initially. You know what? We're actually not overheating. This might actually work. The only problem is I'm not going to be able to climb back out into space. Uh, I think I saw so it. I think we overcorrected. I think this is going to be another failure. Mop yeah, because we're 16. we're bleeding off way too much altitude or uh, speed. Okay. Um, all right. I'm just gonna call it. That's a failure. Um. So so the maneuver worked. Uh, we didn't burn up, but there there's this balance. We have to find this balance where we hit the atmosphere. We bleed off the velocity that we want to bleed off. But, um, but we also need to hold on to enough of our velocity so that we can stay in orbit. Because unless we're planning on landing immediately, which I'm not planning on doing. So, I think what we'll do, let's switch back to the overlay. I think what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and plan on doing the slower method. Because I think I, it's not it's not super slow. It's just this is so much faster. Um, because otherwise I may have to go through several iterations and I've already tried it twice and I don't want to do this three, four, five, six times. So we'll, we'll, we'll do this, uh, we'll, we'll say these simulations, uh, failed and the, the recommendation of the person running the simulations is that we don't do this method. So when we come back in the next video, we'll do it for real, but we're going to just roll, uh, so that we're we're upside down relative to the planet and we'll just open the break and we'll stay more or less um we'll stay more or less level with the horizon and we'll just bleed off the altitude that or we'll bleed off the velocity that way and it's a bit it's just it's just easier to control that method and i'm going to keep this save point that i have though and i'm going to practice this a few more times on my own like after i finish up this video series so that's going to be the plan all right, so with all that said, uh, we're only a couple minutes on this video, a few minutes, so I might actually combine the last two videos together. Um, but when we come back in the next part, I'm going to say that's going to be our for real shot into the atmosphere for our braking maneuver. So again, uh, if you like this, uh, hit the like button, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next part.